This video is part two of a two-part series showing the Istio Developer Portal, which is a product we just announced at Solo.io. This is Christian Posta, and I'm going to give you a tour through it. I encourage you to check out the first part of the demo where we specified some API uh, docs, uh, specifications, and created an API product. We saw how that is used to drive the configuration of Istio, creating various um, virtual service configurations and, and so on. We ended up creating a usage plan as well, which then locked down the API. And so what we're gonna do in this demo is create a portal to be able to expose the API so um, users can go and, and sign up for the API themselves. So if we click back here into APIs, we see we have our pet store API product, which is an aggregation of various API specs and various services that might fulfill those, those specs. If we click on API docs, we see we have two different specifications defined here as open API spec docs. Those could also have been gRPC schemas. And in future videos, we'll take a look at the gRPC support. So let's click on portals and let's create a new portal. Let's call this pet store portal. And well, we're gonna run this locally. Um, otherwise you would, you would specify a, a domain a DNS, but right now we're running uh, things port forwarded. If we come here, let's add some color to our portal. And so this is gonna be the branding and the, the look and feel of the portal that we expose. Let's provide a logo. And we can even load a favicon. And we can select the API products that we want to include in this portal. I've pre-created a uh, some users. That's me. And we will click create portal and we will see that the portal has uh, has now been created. If we click on here, we can see various branding uh, attributes that we can configure. If we want to change the colors, we can add pages. Uh, if we come back to our APIs, we see that our pet store is now published in the pet store portal. So let's take a look at this, this portal. I've exposed it on localhost. And here's the, the generic, yeah, we, we added some of the, the images and so forth, but this is the generic layout. If I click on view APIs, we cannot see the APIs. We've specified a usage plan earlier, and to be able to make use of that, we need to log in. So let's log in with a user. So hopefully I remember my user and password, and I did, okay. Changed it. Okay, so now we're logged in. You can see my, my name up here. And if we click on view the APIs, we can see we have access to the pet store API, which is, a, which is the product that we exposed in the first video. It's made up of three endpoints. Under the covers, it's actually made up of, of different, a couple different services and only certain endpoints that we expose. If we click on pet store, we can see the different APIs that we can we can call into. Now, if you remember, we came over here, we said curl this, and we got a 401 unauthorized. What we would like to do then is to come over here and sign up for some API keys to be able to call this. Now, if I click on keys, I already have one. I created one, but we could we could create a uh, uh, you know another one if if we needed um, you know, more identifiers to be able to track usage. And so if we copy this key, we should be able to come over here and in this, in this um, curl statement here, we should be able to do API key, paste in the key, and then call it. Oh, I switched up the, there we go, there we go. And now we see we have an HTTP 200 and um, the call actually went through. And so what's happening here is 
we signed up for an API key. We were able to access the API. And under the covers, what Istio uh, or what, what the Istio developer portal is doing is if we come here, portal, we can see that Dev Portal actually deploys an external auth service and a rate limiting service. And those are wired into the Istio ingress gateway. So through the portal, we're able to expose the documentation and um, you know the ability to get keys, access keys. Now, under the covers, the Istio ingress gateway is actually the, the edge gateway and traffic's flowing through that. It's being routed based on the virtual service that we defined here. Um, but then the Istio ingress gateway is actually being configured to, um, to talk with an external auth service and a rate limiting service. So we can see if we take a look at the Envoy filters here, we can see the the different Envoy filters. Uh, yeah, well, we can see here that the that the rate limiting and XDOF services have been have been configured. So wrapping up. The Istio Developer Portal allows you to kind of get an understanding of what APIs are available in your service mesh and allow you to share that with others in your organization, allow them to discover it through the, the various portals that you can create and sign up for them in a, in a self-service manner. Now, this is uh, very similar to functionality that you might find an API gateway. And in a way it is an API gateway. We've, we've, we've layered in this functionality on top of Vistio's ingress gateway. Now, if you'd like a full fledged, uh, a little bit more powerful API gateway, also built on Envoy, and also ties in nicely with Istio, but can do more powerful things like transformations, can do um, more, more, uh, more sophisticated security things like um, web application firewalling and data loss prevention, um, things like being able to write your own custom external auth plugins to be able to do things like HMAC or whatever other security protocols you might have, then take a look at something like Glue. But if you're interested in just using vanilla Istio, then the Istio developer portal elevates your game to be able to deal with and understand APIs and implement an API strategy on top of this, uh, this Istio service mesh. So again, thanks for stopping by. Check out the Istio developer portal. Check out uh, solo.io. Uh, we do a lot of tooling around Envoy and service meshes. A lot of it is open source. And stop by our YouTube channel to see this video and, and all the other videos that, that we have. Thanks.